Good morning, family. I hope you are doing well. I am so happy to be here again with you all. And this morning, I want to talk to you very briefly about it being a fixed fight. Yes, we're fighting a fixed fight. The battle is already won. But today, I want to focus in on us being alert, being of sober mind, us knowing Satan's vices so that we may be able to stand and win the battle. Though it is a fixed fight, we still have to engage in the battle. 1 Peter 5 and 8 tells us, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. So today I want to talk to you about putting on the full armor of God so that we may be able to stand. I'm in Ephesians chapter 6 and I'm going to read um, verses 10 through 18. So just journey with me there. Y'all know how we do. But um, I'm starting at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. I wanna pause right there. Um, it says, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Y'all, we all have a day. We all have had days where we just feel like we're being attacked. The enemy is just trying us. Attack after attack after attack. But this is telling us to put on the full armor of God. Because we don't know when the enemy is going to attack. And to be honest, it's never a convenient time when something happens to us, when the enemy attacks us with anxiety, depression, uh, when he attacks our finances, when he attacks our body, whatever your attack may be, it's never a convenient time. But this is telling us to continuously every day, put on the full armor of God so that you won't be caught off guard um, when a day of evil comes. And then it goes on to say that you may, may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, which with you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Y'all, we have to keep our faith. We have to keep trusting. We have to keep believing. It says take up the shield of faith. A shield means that it's protecting you. It goes on to say that it, um, that it, that it can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So it is protecting us from those darts and those arrows that the enemy is throwing at us when we activate our faith. When we continue to trust God and say, yes, I am trusting God through all of this. It goes on to say, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We have to stay in our word, y'all. We have to keep reading, memorizing, and repeating that word out loud. So when I... When I use my word as the sword of the spirit, I'm using it as a weapon. So when the enemy tells me a lie, I can replace it with God's truth. When the enemy tells me that I'm defeated, I can say, uh, nope, I'm more than a conqueror. When the enemy tells me that I'm sick, I can say, no, the word says that he will restore my health. When the enemy tells me that I'm battling anxiety, I can say, nope, the word says be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication. So when I know God's word, I can use it as a weapon to destroy the lies of the enemy the word also goes on to say and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all of the Lord's people y'all we have to stay prayed up we have to stay in that area of prayer and we know here at all nations church bishop always emphasizes the need for prayer and not only should we be constantly and consistently praying for ourselves but it says that we should also be praying for all of the lord's people i want to um read this last scripture to you it is john 16 and 33 it says i have told you these things so that in me you may have peace and this world you will have trouble but take heart, I have overcome the world. I used to think that if I was fighting the enemy, if there was a battle going on and I was being attacked, that I had to be stressed out about it. Oh, I gotta do this, I gotta make sure I do this, I gotta make sure I do this. 
but it says that we can have peace. When you seek God every day, when you read, read your word every day, when you pray every day, when you wake up every morning and you put on that full armor of God, if you're already doing the things that you are supposed to be doing, the word says that when the day of evil comes, you will be able to stand. You will be able to have peace about it. So don't be anxious about it. God says that he's told you these things so that you may have peace. In this world, we will have trouble, but take heart. God says he has already overcome the world. Yes, we're in a battle. Yes, we're fighting, but it's a fixed fight. And we've already won. Though it's a fixed fight, we still have to engage in the battle. But I love you, family. I can't wait to see you next time. And I hope you have an amazing day.